Hello everyone, welcome to Chessvisor, your wise choice to improve at chess. In today's video, I am going to show you some of the traps which is there in Budapest Gambit. This is the part 1 video. We will be continuing at least 2-3 videos from this part. So, as you know all, uh, most of the players uh, when they are playing against the d4 opening or a queen spawn opening, they may not know how to respond properly. So for this, I would recommend you to, you know, uh, try the Budapest Gambit, especially uh, if you are a, uh, if you are, if you want to learn um, more of a theoretical idea that is there in the leeches database or chess.com database, whichever you are preferring. So in this video specifically, we are going to see some of the trap lines. So uh, without much delay, we will be starting the video. So before that, if you are watching the channel for the first time, uh, please uh, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. So here, uh, after d4, black will obviously respond with the knight f6, that is universal reply. So from here, uh, black can transpose into any other opening also. So for this, uh, white will definitely go for the c4, that is space gaining move. Uh, so here, we have multiple ideas for black, but for Budapest gambit, we should be playing this move, that is e5. Once uh, white accepts the gambit, so this is the starting position of the gambit. So here there are two main moves for Budapest Gambit. One is knight to g4, another one is uh, knight to e4. So in today's video, we will be co covering this knight to g4 idea. So for this move, there are two uh, cheap moves we are going to see today. So rest of the other traps will be covered in the next part. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. So here uh, we have two lines that is queen to uh, d4 directly hitting the knight and also protecting the pawn and another line is queen to d5 so first we will check queen to d5 line so queen to d5 line has the merit of attacking i mean sorry defending the uh, pawn as well as uh, it's like uh, asking a question for you so what's next so here uh, after queen to d5 as a black player uh, the idea of gambit is always you remember you should accelerate your development whether you are going to uh, win the game in the opening or not doesn't matter but you have to accelerate your development so we are going to develop a piece here knight c6 so for this uh, white has uh, two replies uh, in this uh, specific video i'm going to cover just two replies that is one uh, pawn to f4 to uh, defend further so after pawn to f4 we can play this move that is knight to b4 hitting the queen so after that, uh, uh, to cover this uh, this square as well as, you know, to keep the queen active, the white player may try this move, that is queen e4. After this, we can play this move, bishop to c5. Uh, we are actually setting a trap in each and every move. But at the same time, if you see, we are always developing a piece with a tempo. So that is the whole idea of a gambit generally. So after bishop to c5, uh, if white plays e3, then we can play bishop takes e3. There is a tactical idea here. So after bishop takes e3, knight takes e3, the queen cannot touch the knight because after queen takes e3, there is this royal family folk. So that is why the queen cannot touch the knight and we are already having a, a good position just in the 8th move of the game. So let us go back to understand the other variation. Uh, instead of uh, pawn to f4, if white tries the natural move, that is knight f3, just develop a piece. So because black is also doing the same now. So after this move, we have uh, d6. So there is another trap in this line also. After d6, uh, white can play some uh, aggressive move that is bishop to g5. So in this line, uh, bishop e7 can be played. After bishop takes e7, knight takes e7, we are hitting the queen. So after queen to e4, we can play d takes e5. So here uh, it, it looks like that, okay, we are uh, we are attacking the, I mean, white is attacking the uh, pawn for the two times. So if he captures on e5 like this, so queen to d1 is there. So after king takes d1, we have this fork. So what is the benefit of this uh, uh, small tactical idea? So look at the pawn structure and uh, piece development. Black is completely better. And we have this isolated pawn and that can be targeted in the middle game and it can be cut out as an easy win. So let us go back and understand the other variation. 
so instead of bishop to g5 the obvious move most of the players are going to play this move that is e takes d6 so after e takes d6 we have a bishop e6 hitting the queen and now after natural queen to d1 we can play this uh, uh, natural move that is also bishop takes d6 look at all of our pieces so four minor pieces has been developed and if your opponent at this point is annoyed by this knight he may play this move that is h3 and for his surprise we are not going to move his uh, move the knight away rather we are going further into his camp like knight takes f2 so we are uh, simply forking both the uh, rook and the queen here so uh, i think the king captures f2 is pretty much forced here so after this move we can uh, simply uh, do this discovery and win the queen so queen the the king cannot go back to defend the queen as the diagonal is being attacked by the dasko bishop so after king takes g3 we have this queen takes d1 and we are completely winning the game so this is about another variation that is f uh, knight uh, when the knight is developed to f3 so let us go back and uh, and we have one more variation in the earlier part that is instead of queen to d5 if he plays queen to d4 this move makes some sensible because uh, queen to d4 is not only uh, uh, protecting the pawn it is also attacking the piece which is uh, trying to recover the pawn right so here uh, it is wise to play this move that is d6 because at the first sight you may uh, there is uh, this pawn is hanging in a, in a couple of moves like after e takes d d6 bishop takes d6 this pawn is hanging but the main idea is we are going to set up with this uh, small trap if he is not careful we are going to give this discovery and win the queen and if he is greedy and uh, believe it or not this is the most uh, common line in uh, leech's database almost 84% uh, percentage win rate uh, are there for black almost 90 19000 players uh, were playing this uh, specific uh, variation that is queen to d4 so after this uh, uh, if white greedily captures on g7 we can play bishop e5 hitting the queen so what's the point if you look at queen's post or the queen's escape square it doesn't have a lot of square it has only one square to go to so queen to g5 and you can simply exchange the queen because we can win the rook in the ending so here uh, instead of this greedy capture the white may throw this in intermediate check that is queen to e4 check sorry so queen to e4 check also uh, can be given in this position so after this we can you can put the bishop on e6 now so we are offering another pawn on the queen side and queen takes b7 we can play knight to d7 as you can see we have developed four pieces and uh, and uh, white is playing with just queen like a uh, beginner so after e3 mostly the beginner are going to play like this only so i'm just telling so e3 so just a developing move uh, trying to open the bishop's diagonal and uh, here uh, we can simply castle and we have a good game from here onwards if you look at a database we have a game for from a database that is knight f3 knight c5 hitting the queen so queen goes to b5 and after this we can play rook to b8 and the queen is almost trapped here uh, in this position if uh, queen goes to c6 then rook b6 is a winning move for us and uh, in the game white played this move that is queen to a5 and we have a tactical move here you can uh, pause the video and try to uh, find it so i hope you found this move that is knight to uh, d3 check so and once he uh, there are a lot of variation we can consider here he can directly capture and lose the queen like this otherwise he can move the um, uh, king away and he can uh, land in this fork so so many uh, traps are there it depends uh, on our opponent's uh, response so let's say for the explanation purpose if he takes we can simply win the queen like this so that's it for today uh, there are a lot of variations we will be covering soon so again if you are new here please consider subscribing to the channel and if you like this video give it give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah so as usual this is chess wiser your wise choice to improve your chess